I'm Kyle Wolver, the Director of Logistics for Superior Ambulance Service. Today, we want to demonstrate our decontamination processes in both our ambulance operations and our wheelchair van paratransit operations in light of the recent COVID-19 situation. First and foremost, the safety of our crews, our patients, our customers, and our communities is of the utmost priority here at Superior Ambulance. When dealing with the COVID-19 situation, we ask that you wear the correct PPE given for the situation and that you don and doff it correctly. If you have questions, please refer them to a member of management or look for the documentation that was put out previously. When dealing with a COVID-19 patient, it's imperative that post-transport, we allow for a 30-minute air exchange process to happen. We want to open the doors to either vehicle for 30 minutes and allow for that air exchange to happen. Make sure that you're wearing correct PPE while doing this process, and if you have questions, please refer to the guidance that was pushed out earlier. Let's go over our Victory Electronic Decontamination Sprayer. To start, make sure that you're always wearing a, a fresh pair of gloves. We start out with the sprayer by first unlocking the canister, pulling the pin to release the canister. We fill this canister with water, we add one brew tab tablet to the canister and let it dissolve for five minutes to make the solution. We then click the canister back in, relock it, pull the trigger. You should get a nice mist. Sprayer is ready to go. Let's start with decontaminating the front of the ambulance. To start, we take our electronic decontamination sprayer. We spray the front of the vehicle entirely making sure that we get all surfaces wet. We want that surface to stay wet for two minutes to allow the decontamination process to occur. Once the front of the vehicle is decontaminated, we move to the back of the vehicle. We start by using the same process to spray the entire surface of the vehicle. It's important to note that while this is a demonstration for time of the vehicle, I may not get the entire back of the vehicle. You wanna make sure you cover the entire back of the vehicle. We spray down the entire back Again, ensuring that all surfaces are wet for two minutes for that decontamination to process. Don't forget your ceiling, don't forget your floor. We allow this unit to air dry and then the back and front of the unit are decontaminated. Let's talk about the cot. When decontaminating the cot, we wanna make sure that the sheet is not on the cot. So we're going to remove the sheet. We want to verify our cot mattress has no rips or tears in it. If it does, make sure that you see the logistics team to get a new cot mattress. We can either utilize our sprayer to spray down the entire cot. Again, for demonstration purposes, I'm not spraying the entire thing. The other option we have is to utilize our striker sidekick wipe to wipe down the entire cot. We want to make sure that we wipe down all buckles and all straps to make sure they are decontaminated as well. That completes our decontamination process of the ambulance. As always, if you have questions, please refer to your station manager or you can ask the logistics department as we are always here to help. Thank you for everything you guys are doing through this COVID-19 situation.